Let's now talk about the state of Kerala, where RTI data has now revealed a huge disparity between COVID deaths registration figures and the health department's uh, figures in Kerala. Uh, the data has revealed that the actual deaths during the period of uh, April to May were three times what was actually reported uh, at that point in time. While the health department data showed 4,500 deaths during April to May, registration figures for the same period put the numbers at 12,500. In fact, reacting to the same, Kerala Health Minister has said that the state government is following the guidelines of the WHO and ICMR, further adding that the government has made the process more transparent by doing real-time entry of data. See, well, we are following the guidelines of WHO and ICMR. And uh, we have conducted uh, death analysis, excess death analysis, uh, soon after the uh, it is uh, uh, soon after the first wave. And we have found that our numbers were almost correct. We, this government, the health department, uh, wants to I mean ensure maximum transparency. So we have evolved a new system where the death is getting reported online or we have a real-time entry now. It's everything is transparent. Exactly. Uh, the, the RTI uh, that has been filed has clearly shown that there is a major discrepancies in the, out, in the, in the numbers, especially the numbers that's been displayed by the government uh, on a daily basis, it's the, the casualty numbers of COVID, I mean, uh, and uh, the numbers, uh, you know, that's been uh, uh, you know, signed uh, and given out by the local uh, uh, self-government authorities that's been duly signed by the various uh, district medical officers and the uh, and the uh, you know, hospitals concerned. Now there is a disparity of 6,000, about 6,000 deaths. Uh, you know that is uh, not been uh, reported in the original. That is the official data that's been put out by the government. Now after June 30th, the government has made it clear that all those uh, deaths which is not uh, been mentioned, uh, you know, will be included in the future list. Now they had made a major course correction in this case, uh, but it is yet to, yet to know whether all these cases, uh, you know. Uh, genuine cases will be included in the original data because uh, now the Supreme Court has clearly said that compensation has to be given to the family members of those people who have lost their life due to COVID. You know, this is going to be a major embarrassment for the government because once they put out a list and later if some people come and come out and say that my name, uh, my family member's name uh, is not included, that that is going to become a major issue uh, for the government. As far as the government is concerned, they are running a tightrope, uh, you know, they're walking a tightrope uh, between uh, livelihood and life you know, at this point of time. Remember, it's a, a very, very important uh, aspect at this point of time, the RTI th that has been revealed. Uh, remember, what is even more concerning is the number of cases and the test positivity rate that's been reported on a daily basis. Yesterday, it was above 14,000, uh, and uh, the test positivity rate was 10.7 percentage. Now, remember, in the last uh, two weeks, you know, this has been, the DPR rate has been ranging between anywhere between 10 and 13, uh, which is indeed a matter of concern. The government is still not able to get it down uh, below 10 percentage, uh, even though various lockdown norms and pro protocols are in place. Remember, for example, every alternate days, uh, there is a uh, lockdown and Saturday and Sunday, it's a complete shutdown. But still, the government has not been able to get the numbers down, which is indeed a matter of concern.